Hello and welcome to another daily devotion as we are in the last week of 2020. The home stretch can put all that behind us and look into a new beginning. We talk about something this week that is really intrinsic to the Christian faith. New beginnings, fresh starts, clean slates. This new beginning caught me by surprise. It was Christmas Eve, maybe 15 years ago. I had literally just gotten done with our 11 o'clock candlelight Christmas Eve service in Portage, Michigan, where I was serving. I was driving home. I got to the house and do my normal pastor kind of thing, at least a pastor who's a dad. Um, I guess it couldn't have been 15 years. It must have been 11 years ago. I started to wrap gifts for the family uh, who are all asleep because they all went to bed earlier. And um, as I'm sitting kind of in the stillness of the house, I get a call. Pastor, so-and-so just had a stroke. They're in the hospital. We need you to come now. And so at 1 o'clock, 1.15 in the morning, I was driving over to Bronson Hospital and standing in the ER with a man I had seen in the bed not 55 minutes earlier. And he died there. And I thought to myself, as the family had all gathered, shocked, stunned, going from celebrating the birth of Jesus to standing at the bedside of one who they were celebrating with, now dead in minutes. How life can change. So in the same moment, more so than any Christmas Eve I'd ever experienced or Christmas Day, I held the birth, the incoming of God's incarnation into the world, a new beginning, and a beloved brother in faith dying, and the resurrected Christ, who says, I am with you always. And for those who die, I say to you, you will live and have life. In that same moment is the Gospel of John, who says nothing about birth narratives. I don't know if John even cares about some birth in Bethlehem. He starts with a timeless God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that is created. In him was life, and that life was the light of humankind, and it shines in the darkness has never understood or overcome it. And so in this moment, this, this tragic Christmas morning, there was also victory in the same breath. It's a God who says, no matter where life finds you, fair or unfair, good moments or tragic, I've got you. This word that is made flesh, who is the light of the world, is with you. This word speaks the last word, even in the moment of our death and our last breath, and says, I am a God of life. To me, John's new beginning in this good news gospel of John is saying to us as human beings, the light has come into the world and relentlessly pursues us in our darkest places and says, I've got you always. This Christmas Jesus, this baby Jesus, is also the one who will shed the grave clothes and say, don't be afraid. I bring you peace and good news. Tell the world who I am. Hallelujah. New beginnings? It's never too late. Always. The word has the last word. Amen.